And then Moshe goes on. He talks a little bit about uh, for six days work, for six days that we should work, and then on the seventh day it should be holy. Then, then a complete day of rest for Hashem, and whoever does work should be put to death. And then he goes on to say, you shall not light fire in all your houses on the day of Shabbos. Um, like he specifically singles out Shabbos. So what, what do we learn from these two bazook? And one is that it's very important that during the six days of the week, you, you're supposed to do malacha. You're supposed to do constructive work. We're supposed to be constructive. We're supposed to do things that are beneficial to the world. And it's only on Shabbos is when we're supposed to cease from doing the construction work and doing things that are more beneficial. So what happens? So what happens? Um, next, I guess the glasses look a little funny. Uh, what happens next? So why do they do fire? Because again, we say that some people say that the, the the rest is that God created the world in six days, and on the seventh day He rested. So it, we go out and we explain fire. Lo tavaru They shouldn't light fires in your house. So first of all, fire just as a side point has a you know symbolic meaning of machlokas of division and fighting and you know aggressiveness and burning and just not not harmony. So it's very specific that on Shabbos on Saturday it should be a day of rest, a day of shalom, a day of peace, not a day of conflict, not a day of that. Everything should be more peaceful on Shabbos. Um, after Shabbos, sorry about that. And then, so what is it? Um, what is it? Um, it do Shabbos? So that God rested, worked for six days, and on the seventh day he rested. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. So what was this? What what happened? Because when Adam Harishon, the first man was created, he was created on a Friday, and then he sinned on Friday, and he got kicked out of the Garden of Eden on Friday. But Friday, not the sun didn't set. Just similar to when you're up north in Iceland, Alaska, you know, Norway, Sweden, the sun doesn't set. The sun didn't set that Friday night. So it was only Mote Shabbos. When it started to get dark, God created fire for him. And every Friday, we, we make the bracha barei marish. And we, we separate fire from everything else because we thank God for giving us fire. And... So people might say, since fire wasn't created in the first six days, God didn't rest from the fire. So it's only a Motei Shabbos. So that's why Torah specifically puts it here, because it's, some people might say, oh, it wasn't created, so we don't have to rest from making fire. But yes, it goes out of way that, yes, we still have to work for making fire, meaning you can't cook, you can't light fires, you can't also put out fires. Uh, there's all different rules regarding this, but this is as far as why, an interesting reason why, because fire wasn't created until the Motei Shabbos, the Saturday night of the first week.